give the uh, the the camera over to uh, Robert, and I'm gonna. This is uh, Bob say a few things. from we were talking about, uh, Windsor, Bible, Ontario, so joining uh, well, I to my let you channel. Know another word that was translated wrong that makes us think that we need to gain favor from the Lord is that uh, it said the word with or among. The word with or among is within if you translate it right. And when they say Jesus is with you or among you, he's, that's wrong. Within you. He's within you. So that means that we all have favor to begin with, and no matter what we do, we have favor. Amen. Yep. And uh, um, also the word, um, the, the, I'll tell you the handful of words translated that are wrong. Uh, the word um, uh, repentance and the word sin were translated wrong. The word sin, if it's literally translated, it doesn't have anything to do with bad or good. It just means, uh, literally translated, it says uh, to miss the bullseye, right? And uh, repentance, literally translated, is uh, a new way of thinking that makes sin impossible. And uh, where the, the bad and good comes in is the two golden commandments, which are worse, better than all the other ones. Um, those are in, in the, 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 new the Old Testament or whatever. I agree with everything he's saying, by the way. And I agree with everything he's saying, by the way. And those are uh, to love, to, to do, treat your neighbor like you like to be treated, and to love the Lord God with all your soul, your heart, and your might. And that includes loving yourself. And no, none of us can move on from this point spiritually unless we forgive all. We need Amen. to forgive all, including ourselves. Amen. And uh, not even hold any type of animosity because that will That's the way to go. Us. And uh, so all there is is uh, there's, the word infinity is the most precise amount that we know. It's just one of everything, one whole of everything. And mathematicians really hate that word. They get scared of it, right? But uh, um, that is the best way we have of describing God, right? And if uh, there's there's a test, okay? If you look up into the sky or into heaven or anywhere that's outside of yourself to see God, then you failed the test. Wrong answer. Definitely, definitely, it is the wrong answer. So welcome, and it's time to fly a kite on a nice windy day. And the wind of the Lord will have his way in the storm, and the dust will be clouds under his, uh, his feet. So welcome. Might as well get comfortable here. Love from love and hope from hope. And praise the Lord that uh, I am the messenger from the north, Isaiah 41, Canada. Uh, me and uh, my new friend Bach, who's joining this channel with a show of his very own. Uh, we haven't figured out what we're going to name it yet. But uh, he is the Elisha to my Elijah. He has a double portion of humility and meekness that I do not possess. If it was not for this guy joining my channel, I'd be a dead duck in the water, and the Lord prophesied that, uh, that everything I would do would be in vain. That was of the Elijah writer of Isaiah 28, not the returning Elijah of Isaiah, uh, of Revelation, the two witness Elijah. He'll be ministering death and people will celebrate when he dies in Jerusalem. But uh, even though I am telling people up front that this man and I are not the two witnesses, that is the um, conditional future that does not is not written yet, and it does not have to come to pass, just as Armageddon does not have to come to pass. Just as Nineveh was not destroyed in Jonah 4, God relented and changed his mind. But as surely as my name is Daniel, I can tell you that uh, we are foreshadowers of the ministry of Elijah and Moses uh, insofar as bringing forth repentance for love to grow. And so in this hour, uh, I, I am thrilled to have Bach joining uh, the team. I just met him yesterday and uh, I've already talked with him and he's excited. 
And know that our Lord God wants his beloved people all over the world to embrace the light of his latter-day dove of love and dove of peace. It is the flying scroll of Zechariah 5, and I am the one of Zechariah 3, the alcoholic standing before the Lord with bark all over myself. I used to sniff glue when the Lord called me when I was 40-something years ago. And so now it's time for the Lord's unique honesty through Bach and myself to help anyone if they're willing to bring form the highest form of intimacy with that maker of all who is our majesty of majesties, our carpenter of the ages. And if this restoration of his word does not happen, he is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot even return. Uh, it says so in uh, uh, Acts 3.21, what restoration surely Elijah would come forth and restore all things. People, there are two antichrists in the, the word of God. The lawless one of Second Thessalonians that would die by a sword because he's a sword swallower, morgue official, uh, and the king of the north, the actual antichrist that would bring a world shrouded in uh, atomic dust so that all people would have to go into the dens of the rocks underground as Mark, the book of Mark foretells. And then uh, there would be seven horny women for one horny man because the, uh, so much death of men would be in those days. So it's time that uh, we need to hear our roaring lion of Zion louder than ever before. And uh, he's coming forth, preparing the roaring fire of his truthfulness to consume every burning uh, page within his divine scroll uh, that's burning with passion. For uh, his wisest thoughts are now being lifted up by the fluttering whitest wings of his dove of love from uh, Bach of uh, Windsor, who has a much greater song than Bachman Turner Overdrive ever sang. And as the wise and prudent sons and daughters of the Most High press into hearing from him and myself more of the holy canticles of that carpenter of the ages, they'll all soon clearly come to see that such exalted honesty of love is far better than the sugar-coated steaming dung that's presently being spread all over earth like some fresh manure. And for all those not embracing the truth that wide is the way to hell, um, paved by conditional love, where every day we practice letting our love be desensitized, wax cold, every day rationalizing why it's okay not to be loving and forgiving, why it's okay not to smile and to be kind, why it's okay to be a racist and a, a spiritual bigot looking down upon people condescendingly. And as that happens, it's time that the Lord is saying, if you will not embrace his word of peace, Behold the messenger that prepares the way before the Lord, uh, and his message is his own, uh, written in the word of God in Jeremiah 31, unadulterated, given to the correct people. Israel, Jeremiah 31, 1 says that they would get that in the latter days. It says so. And Jeremiah 32, 27, uh, all mankind, the covenant is for. And the word of God proves that because in these latter days, of the latter-day Daniel, who I am, Daniel 12, 13, who has embraced my destiny. Um, in these days, the wise will shine as the sun and learn the ways of war no more because now Israel has inherited all mankind because the covenant was given correctly to both by the Lord God in these days. The Lord knew who he was talking to. Uh, what happened, early Christians, they switched the covenant and they said, we are Israel and all the prophecy is for us. And they were never Israel, nor was the prophecy for just them or else God would be a respecter of man. Uh, he would be a sinner God telling us, don't do as I say, do as I do. I can respect my own and if they don't believe I'm loved, I can hate them forever and burn them till they're crispy critters. And so in this hour, it is time to realize that many pitiful souls 
uh, out there in the world that are far more to be pitied than censored in many ways, that many pitiful souls of the darkest darkness are presently presenting their rotting fields uh, for a wasted harvest of uh, only some thorns, thistles, and shameful apostasy, as well as their own coveted time of shining when nobody else spiritual is around them. So a great time of sadness abounds. Now is the prophesied time when the Lord God can, can finally be worshiped in spirit and in truth, even the truth of Daniel and Bach as we go forth. Uh, and by the blinded leadership of his own apostate like imams, ev evangelists, uh, rabbis from all the three Abrahamic faiths, the clearer truth of the Lord's dove of love and dove of peace have already in this hour already been mocked and refused and sneered at with subtle uh, hate, demonic hatred uh, uh, and people are not walking with the spirit of love at all and ignorance is covering the eyes of all such hypocrites and know that whosoever is a spiritual apostate is like a non-thinker who has lo locked themselves in, into some really false places uh, and it's not by the spirit of knowledge god has said in Hal habakkuk 2 that his people have always been destroyed by their lack of knowledge. So it's time that need, people need to have a good idea about what God's will is or what it is not. Uh, and uh, not knowing this greatly limits our own abilities to attain the liberating kind of spiritual freedom that the Lord so badly wants for each and every one of us. If only we would all quit imitating the ostrich who love sticking their heads under the darkest uh, of holes of stupidity in order to hide. Ignorance truly is not bliss as it has been said. It is outright dangerous to our well-being and to our good. So it's time to use our God-given brains. So do not die as a fool through apostate leaders, unfaithful friends, or lukewarm uh, uh, ministers. Uh, instead, become ministry, ministering flames of fire like Bach and I, so that Christ in us can arise, so that we can be vigilant champions of truth and have intrepid hearts that are brave enough to continue hearing the word of love uh, without needing to ask anyone's permission. And it's time not to wait for others to go first. For the godly discernment to see if Bach and my channel here, because he has inherited my channel now, uh, to see that the godly discernment, uh, to see if, if people uh, are just a bogus pile of crap, uh, lies dormant within all believers. Anyone who has any discernment will discern me correctly as a man full of passionate love for the Lord, and yet I am shunned. And that is because people are brain dead spiritually. So it's time to awake, O lambs, and trust now in the flickering spirit uh, within yourselves. For greater is the uh, dove's magnificent light within you than the evil one who used to be in the world who has now been removed in accordance with Daniel 12 1 for he had always been the accuser of their brethren as revealed in the book of Job day and night before the Lord telling him all about our sin yada yada in his ear problem for him has been that in these days of Elijah with the kingdom age covenant messenger coming forth exactly as it is written in Malachi uh, 3 uh, the Lord is saying, I am your God, you are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity, sending Satan straight to the pit for a thousand years in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, because uh, this is just logical, because uh, God is saying, and I will forgive all your iniquity and never remember it. How could God say that if Satan is right there, yada, yada, yada? That is why Satan has been removed in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. And so it is time to awake. Uh, and uh, 
it's time to arise and go forth into the deepest living waters of our shining one's glory for we all need to choose life or death is the opposite that we would inherit and by the authority of everything that's been revealed in both the quran and the word of god let it be known that any servant of our majestic king who sits in uh, judgment over the work at this channel without hearing all the words of the prophecy uh, they are the ones burying their proverbial talents very very deeply and that disgusts the Lord God as it is written so let the Lord God be God and let all people be liars and welcome uh, Bach when he uh, has his solo program sometime in the next day or so make sure you please leave him some comments let him this is his, going to be his uh, his first uh, uh, YouTube video on a set uh, and it's not going to be scripted. I've let him know he's going to have the freedom to say and talk about anything that his heart uh, is led to do. So it's time that we need to take off into the most powerful uh, work of the Lord's praises uh, that have ever been written and uh, practiced here at this channel. And uh, uh, he, like I, is a writer. And as a writer, it is time that we all need to rejoice. For if we don't cry out, surely it is written that the rocks would cry out people. And so as I go, it's time to dive in to the living waters. Dive in and submerge yourself in the waters of his love that would wash all of our sin away. For he was slain before the foundation of the earth for all of you. And I don't know about you, but that water looks pretty neat, so I'm jumping in. Y'all have a good day. Love you lots. Bye now. Bye-bye.